Hi, I'm Adam Rogers with Metro Home Theater Group. Today, I'll be explaining how HDMI cable construction is important for performance by comparing our VLOX passive HDMI cable by Ethereal to a competing high-end cable of a similar price point made by one of the big cable manufacturers. On the outside, both cables look great, but we want to show you what's inside the cable. We've revealed the inside of our VLOX cable and a competitor's cable, shown here on the right to showcase the differences in construction and explain how this impacts timing and performance. The competitor cable, terminated at the factory, is using a trace circuit board to connect the conductors to the head shell, which are soldered. What's important to point out is that these trace circuits are not the same size. This can cause timing errors. So why is trace equalization important in your circuit boards? Well, it's pretty simple. When you look at this diagram, what you're gonna see is two traces, one on the outside, one on the inside. The outside one has to go a lot further to get to the same point as the inside one. So when the data is moving, there are absolutely time differences. This is not good for your HDMI signal. When you look at this one, what you're gonna notice is the middle conductor still straight up, but now has little squiggles in it to add the distance necessary to provide the time correction. So that all the data arrives at the same point between the source and the display. That is why circuit equalization is very important on all your devices. Now, let's look inside our VLOX passive HDMI cable. The first thing you'll notice is that we do not have a trace circuit board. All of our conductors are the same length, within three millimeters to provide exact timing and are connected directly to the circuits. The construction of our VLOX cable includes a solid silver plated conductor. Why silver plating? Well, it's pretty simple. Silver carries better data faster than copper does. So when you're looking at an HDMI cable, having a basic copper substrate to give you something to start with is good, but the more silver you lay over it, the better and easier the data can travel from point A to point B. So high silver content is very, very important. Why not just silver? It becomes too flexible, can get out of shape or crush. You've got to have the copper substrate. Everything is wrapped in the same gauge, which is something required moving forward for higher bandwidth content that will be seen for HDMI 2.1. So while these cables may be priced the same, have similar packaging, and make the same claims, a look inside at how they are constructed will tell the true story of how they will perform. To see more of our ethereal HDMI cables, visit us at metrohometheater.com.